Hi there, my name is Carrie. I'm Donut's Head of Customer Experience, and I'm so excited to go through creating a mentorship program with Donut's pre-built mentorship journey, plus the newest feature at Donut, form enrollment. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, when you are logged into your Donut dashboard, there's an option to select pre-built journeys. Um, we have journeys for all different types of needs, including onboarding, events, training, offboarding. But today we're gonna to really focus on mentorship because we have some really great features that are gonna help you enroll participants into these mentorship programs. For today's demonstration, we're gonna create a peer mentorship program. So I'm gonna select this. You can preview the messages that are in pre-built journeys. Keep in mind that if you start with a pre-built journey, you can edit the messages that are included in the pre-built journey. You can also add your own, you can remove messages. So it's really customizable. So if you wanna get sort of a head start on creating a program, definitely recommend using the pre-built journey options that we have. Right here will tell you the different roles that are included, the number of weeks the program is, the number of messages, and if it includes our pre-built form enrollment option. So we're going to click next. We'll name this Q4 mentorship program just for testing sake. And we are going to create this program. What you'll notice is all of your messages are now on this journey. So we have messages that are going to both your mentee and your mentor throughout the mentorship program. Again, if you would like to customize these messages, you can click into the messages. You can customize them to fit your particular team's brand, or if you would like to keep them as is, you're more than welcome to do that. You can also add additional messages. So if you would like to make your program a little bit more, um, a little bit shorter, you can do that. If you would like to make your program longer, you can certainly do Or if you would like to, everything is fully customizable. So you can utilize all of the message options that Donut now has for Donut Journeys to fully personalize and customize this mentorship program to fit your particular team's needs. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to set up the enrollment form. Instead of having to do things in Google Sheets and sort of step away from Donut, Donut has created an option for you to have folks enroll into this peer mentorship program directly from a Slack channel. And it's going to also allow you to match folks right within Donut, which is really gonna make things so smooth and seamless and prevent you from having to do things in multiple tools. So we are going to first click on this enrollment form. What you'll see is that we have first a message that is going to explain exactly what the program is going to be. So for example, it will say, hello, we are collecting our responses for our upcoming mentorship program, peer mentorship program. Please let us know if you'd like to participate. If you select I'm interested, you'll be directed to a form where you can tell us a bit more about yourself. And then obviously if they're not interested, um, they will not be taken to that additional form. What you'll have here is going to be a form title and a form description. And then further down, you will create different roles and questions that are also going to go out to everyone. So the first one is the mentee role. Um, because this is a form dedicated to peer mentorship, we do not allow the mentee role to be customized. So this role is set. Um, however, if you wanted to put a description here, you certainly could add a description um, or you could choose just to add the description to the mentor. So for example, um, you must be at least 12 months into your current role. So you can add any type of requirements that you would like to, to put here um, just to make sure that when folks are enrolling, they know that there's certain criteria that needs to be met before they actually enroll either as a mentor or a mentee. The next thing is going to be your form questions. You're actually going to be using these questions to help match folks later on in the process. So for example, you can ask them what, um, what interests them in this program. You could ask them, uh, you know, over the next 26 weeks, mentors and mentees will meet around once a month. Before these meetings, you'll receive messages with topics and goals that you will then come prepared to discuss. 
Does this time commitment work for you? You can also choose to delete questions, to move questions up and down. So for example, if I wanted to take out this industry experience question, I can do that. You can move questions up and down. It's totally up to you, the order and the questions that you have. One thing to keep in mind is that both the mentor and the mentee are going to receive these questions. So instead of asking questions specific to one role or the other, you can keep your questions generalized to where it will apply to both parties. So for example, instead of asking someone why they want to be a mentor or why they want to be a mentee, instead you can ask them this question, what interests you in this program that will allow that question to apply to both the mentor and the mentee. Once you're happy with your form, you can save that. And then what you'll notice is that there's gonna be a few different options for this form. The really cool thing about this is you can send out multiple forms for multiple dates. So if I wanted to do a Q4 mentorship journey, I could choose that as the start date. And then if you wanted to later send a different enrollment form for the same journey, you could do that for a different date, which is really exciting. So let's say that we are going to start our mentorship program on October 1st. So we'll have that go through all of Q4. There's a couple of different share options that you're going to have. You can invite people to fill out the form both by sharing it in a channel as well as sharing it in a DM. For today's sake, I am going to share it with two people on our team and we are going to send them this enrollment form. You'll notice that you get a little congratulations that your enrollment form is sent and participants that answer your form will then be enrolled in the peer mentorship program for Q4. You can access the responses from the participants page. So we're gonna click got it. So now we are going to come to this participant page. What you'll notice is I do have our mentorship journey that is going to be starting on October 1st. However, I don't have any peer men uh, mentees and I also don't have any peer mentors. And that's because nobody's yet filled out that survey or that enrollment form. When you're in Slack and you receive the message, you'll notice that you can click I'm interested and then you wanna enroll as either a mentor or a mentee. You'll be able to fill out the questions to the form that have previously been requested when you originally set things up. So in this example, I'm just filling out the questions. And once I am finished filling out the questions, I'll be able to submit that answer. Um, you'll get a message that says that you are all set. Now that people have completed the enrollment form, you'll notice that we have a mentee that has now shown up into our mentee cohort. And we also have a mentor that has also shown up in our mentor mentee cohort. So what we can do next is we can click into this form responses. And what you'll see is that the mentee response is going to be here. So everything that I selected when I was in Slack is going to automatically populate into Donut, which is really great. You can also export um, information to make it a little bit easier. Um, if you want to view the form, you can also view the form, which is going to take you back to the original creation of the form. We are going to stay in this section and we're going to actually match the mentee and the mentor up into the journey. So what you'll see is there is a drop down because we only have one mentor in the cohort right now, you'll only see that the option for essence. However, if we had more than one mentor, you would be able to see additional folks and based on the answers, if there's certain criteria that you're looking to match people, you can certainly look between the criteria to determine um, if they are going to be a good match. Um, if you export things, um, what's going to happen is this will create a mentorship Excel form that you can then open in Excel and it will have the options um, for the mentees that have submitted their responses. 
Once you have selected who you want your mentor and mentee to be, you can select them together and you'll save the matches. You'll notice that you get a check mark that you've saved the matches. If you change your mind, you can also remove the match and you can rematch them. For today's purposes, we're gonna keep the matches. So what you'll notice is that now that they are matched together, when you go to the participant page, you'll notice that we have a mentee that is enrolled into this peer mentorship program. And you can click into this actual person and you can see that the messages are going to now be scheduled to go out to both the peer mentee as well as the peer mentor. Keep in mind that for any journey, if you decide that you want to change any messages, if you change them on your journey, as long as they haven't been sent out, anybody who is currently enrolled in the journey will receive the updated messages. So feel free if you do need to make any changes instead of going into individual um, messaging series, um, instead of going in individually, you can certainly change those on the journey level. Some additional features that are important to know is that on your mentee cohort section, um, again, you could go to your cohort form responses. You can share the form again. So if you have created this um, mentorship program and maybe you have someone new starting with the company or maybe someone was out on leave and they didn't see the message in the Slack channel, um, you can share this exact same mentorship program either to a different channel or you can share it to additional people. Um, so that's a way to go back in and make sure that you have correctly um, sent the form to everyone. In addition to enrolling people with the enrollment form, if there's a point where you need to enroll people manually, you can certainly do that. The way that you want to do that is to go into the actual cohort for the October 1st mentorship program. Um, in this case, you can add additional mentees. So maybe we have a mentee and a mentor that need to be added and we can add them manually. So instead of them going through the enrollment form, we can certainly add them manually. That means that they'll get all of the same messaging that this October 1st mentorship program will get. Um, you just are not going to have the answers to the questions for matching purposes, which is totally fine if you need to add anybody later. You'll also see that you have a reporting tab. So once everybody has sort of started going through the journey, you'll be able to have access to poll data, any intros that you're doing, any intros that are selected for that particular person, as well as any tasks that have been assigned throughout that journey. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me to create a mentorship program. We hope that you got so much out of this video and we are so excited to see what your team accomplishes with this new feature. If you have any questions or feedback that you would like to provide for our team, or any requests for new additions to this feature, please reach out to our team. You can reach us with the mess messenger button in the bottom right. We're always excited to hear from our customers.